guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Star, and I hope you're all doing well. So happy Thursday night. It's almost uh, Friday, so I cannot believe this week actually went really, really fast. So um, despite being pretty much home the whole week. Um, yeah, so I have a um, Dollar Tree haul to show you guys. So as I mentioned yesterday in my um, Winco haul, um, I will include that in the back of this video. And my cat came to say hello. Come here. Loki wants to say hello. Come here, Loki. Um, come here, sweet pea. So, um, but um, he's still a kitten. But um, he, so I went to Winco yesterday, like I mentioned. And I was looking for, um, I needed to get some more toilet paper and um, some paper towels. But they had none. <laughs> and so um, I went over to Dollar Tree, which is literally in the same shopping center. Um, I put in my, um, I'm going to put in my, uh, what's it, the cover photo to this video. I want you guys to see that I did, I was responsible even at Dollar Tree. I wore my mask and my gloves the whole time I was shopping. And, um, you know, there was like not a lot of people there um, as well and um, kept my distance as well to respect people, you know, their space. And, um, but they had toilet paper at Dollar Tree and I was really excited about that. It was two per customer and um, two rolls of to paper towels per customer. But I found some other things while I was there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. And um, yeah, so like I said, it was, um, I'm, I'm glad that Dollar Tree, because Dollar Tree hasn't had um, toilet paper um, in a while. So I got lucky. I got really lucky. And they didn't have much left. So, you know, it was kind of like I just was at the right place at the right time. So anyway, I grabbed a couple other things, like I said. Um, since I was there and um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. All right guys, so um, The first thing I'm actually gonna show you and then I'll show you the um, okay I brought this out to show you guys this okay. I yeah, this is not from the Dollar Tree Although I wish they would sell these at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go ahead and um, Explain this real quick. So do you see this um, beautiful? I I don't know what it is about this, but um, this brings back so much memories um, For those who are new to my channel. I um, graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Interior Design. And one year we went to a convention at the LA Convention Center um, to, um, we went to a design convention. And so there's all these vendors, you know, um, throughout the convention center and um, showing their latest products, textiles, you know, things like this for design, um, if for the design world. And um, I got this for, they handed this to me as one of like a complimentary, you know, thing showing the textiles they have, but they made it into pencil pouches. So I've kept this, like I said, I had graduated in 2004, so it's been a long time. So I've had this for this long, but um, I wanted to show you because I found something like this at Dollar Tree. And so I just, I um, I have this in um, a special place and I, because I still um, really much am very proud of my degree I earned. I worked so, so hard for my degree in interior design. I worked so hard, you guys. And uh, yeah, so um yeah, so I wanted to just go ahead and show you this. So, um, inside, if you, <laughs> for those who don't believe me, this is like the real deal. This has my, um, I mean, I haven't opened this pouch in forever. This has my, um, drafting pins in here, like my drafting pins. I'll go ahead and show you my drafting tape for my plans that just keep them, um, you know, secure on the uh, drafting board. There's my little Helix stickers right there. Um, so, <laughs> and then my, um, drafting pencils. Like everything is like right here. So it's all, it all, it's like all coming back to me like that Celine Dion song. But anyway, why I want to show you this is because it's going to like, you guys are going to be so amazed by this. So there's that. So I found this <laughs> at the Dollar Tree. This I found at the Dollar Tree. I was like, what? So it's the same. It is apples to apples. This has aged a little bit, I think, over the years, but not much. But look at this, you guys. This is apples to apples. The same, the same. Isn't that wild? This is, um, it's like a placemat. They're selling them as like placemats there at the Dollar Tree. Isn't that wild, guys? I just have this fond, like, love of this material. Uh, it's because it was so, it was such a, what's the word? When it came out back, it was like 2003 when this material was newer to the design world. Um, this was like real innovative. So when I see this, it just brings back all these wonderful memories. So anyways, I grabbed two of these, but you guys, isn't that wild? Like 
that is wild, right? Like it was meant to be for me to see these. So yeah, it's so crazy. It's so, so crazy. Uh, but anyway, so they're calling these placemats at the Dollar Tree. So I picked up two. The reason why is because I'm going to use these for my husband's coffee machine to put his Keurig underneath. Um, so I picked up two, although I wanted to buy them all because like I said, I have this like love with this material. Um, I was like, what can I make this out of? What can I use this for? But I really don't know what else. Um, I think they were using these to make chairs out of um, when I was learning about this product back way back then. I think they were using these for like chairs and um, you know, other textile reasons, but okay. Anyway, sorry, I could talk all, you guys can see I love, I missed my um, design, you know, uh, that part of my life, <laughs> kind of missed that a little bit, but um, anyway, back to this. So you guys, they have these, what? And they have some really pretty other ones too that are kind of like this weave design. It's, it's like in brown, but they're like more long, elongated and they're different material, but they're kind of still see-through a little bit like this. See how you can kind of see me through here? Like, you see how it's kind of see-through? Anyways, I just had to show you that because it's like totally blowing my mind, like totally blowing my mind. Wouldn't that look nice though for a Keurig or like a coffee machine to sit on? Um, just because I like to have that because we have tile and that's, you know, kind of, it's a barrier from the tile and then, you know, put this on there and then on the counter. So we'll see how that works out. It may not work out for that reason. If not, I'll use it for something else. So yeah, I was like, yay, so cool. Okay, then I found this. So I got this for my son to play um, and my kids to play football, catch, play catch, you know, like it's just, they, this comes in red and a different color and then I got the black and um, silver. So there it is. Okay, so I got that. Um, I did get my paper towels. I got two rolls. There's my paper towels. Uh, I have the other roll coming up. There's my roll. I was totally out of paper towels. So I'm glad I got those. Then um, I picked up some seeds for my daughter again. Um, these are 25 cents, sorry, 25 cents a pack. Such a good deal, guys. Um, I found this globe in the toy section and I went ahead, went ahead and bought this uh, for like, to teach my kids, uh, my younger kids, an actual visual of the globe because I, I love, I think it's a real good three-dimensional uh, learning tool to learn about the world, um, like the earth and how, you know, where the countries are located and that type of thing. And it's kind of like a little squishy ball, but I'm going to use it to show my kids, you know, spatially what it, you know, it is. So, um, and it's just so crazy. I look at this globe and like, um, again, those who are new to my channel, um, it just blows my mind because my husband, <laughs> my husband came all the way from India. Like he's from India. He was born in India and moved here when he was, um, um, around 12 years old, he moved to United States, but he's all the way from India and I'm all the way from United States. Like we are, we were like, look at how far, I mean, it was just like, it's, it's just so amazing that, um, we come from two completely different parts of the world and, um, we found each other. It just, it's like, it's, I love it. I love it. So, I mean, literally like United States, we're like completely, <laughs> I, anyway, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's a great, it's a great, um, it's, it's, I just love it. So I just like to see that. And it's just a reminder that, wow, he was so far, we were so far away from each other growing up. You know what I mean? Like he's all the way in India and I'm all the way in the U S it's just mind blowing. So, all right, back to the rest of the stuff. Sorry. Um, I did pick up the fleece blankets. I picked up two more of these. So bought two more of these, um, these I bought for my um, cats to um, snuggle with. So I bought these for my cats. So, and they're real um, nice and soft and just like real snuggly. So I bought those for my cats. And then I picked up the double mailers. I've never, I was like, I need to buy one of these because like, I don't know if, if we're going to be able to get together with my family for Easter. So I may want to mail some of my family some stuff. So I want to have like a mailer so I can like pop something in the mail. And instead of buying the mailer at the post office, it's cheaper to buy it at Dollar Tree. So I picked up two. Okay. So I picked up two of those. Also guys, I'm wearing my dove ring. Um, just want to show you that I'm wearing my dove ring. I just, or dove ring, dove eggs ring. I just did a, um, review video on it a few days ago. So 
Um, I will probably link that in the back of this video, but I want to show you how pretty it is. I'm, I'm still wearing it. It's just so pretty. So it's my Dove Eggs um, Moissanite ring. Okay, so I love that. Then let me show you the rest of the stuff. So I just kind of like went there and I just like went down the aisles really quick. I didn't go down all the aisles. I just was like, because you know, I'm trying to be in and out, you know. Um, I found this at the register, so I went ahead and bought one because we needed one. It's a type, the type C USB cable. So I just needed another, oops, I just needed another one of those. And that's a really good deal. Um, I picked up some napkins to have for Easter time, um, for Easter day. So just because it looks like we are staying home for Easter this year, we're definitely staying home. Um, so I want to, um, make it as festive as I can, um, for my family. So I picked up these. They had a couple designs. They had ones with like eggs all over them and one with like a chick on it. And then I, I, I got the bunny because I'm like, you know, just totally Easter. Um, and then I picked up some Andy's mitts for moi. <laughs> so I was craving those. So I got those. So I got those. Then I picked up um, this for my son's um, Easter basket. So the, it's like a, sorry, it's a, it's hard to see, but it's a 13 piece action police play set. And it's a helicopter, police helicopter. I don't know if you can see very well with the glare, but it's got a couple things in it, like a police boat, um, some policemen right there. So, <coughs> excuse me, I got some dust. Um, okay. And then I picked up crayons to put little bunny crayons to put, um, in the egg fillers, uh, for the Easter egg hunt. So I picked up those, thought those are really darling. You get six of them, six piece. I got those. I like them. They're really cute and they're pretty heavy, like heavyweight, you know? So then I picked up this, these cute little bowls. I always buy these. I really like these. Sorry. There's, I'm going to cough. There's like dust. <coughs> excuse me, that like came out of this bag. I get like that sometimes with this dust, um, you know, inside, <coughs> excuse me, you hear that? It's a tickle. Um, anyway, I like those bowls. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Then I picked up these for, these are new to DT. These are for my daughter's Easter basket. Um, she loves to garden. In fact, I just ordered a watering can. When that comes in, I will do a video on that. Um, um, it's for her Easter basket because she asked for one because the ones we have don't have the sprinkle head of the watering can. So she needed one because Dollar Tree sells them with the just the straight you know, spout. It doesn't have a sprinkle effect and she wants a sprinkle effect for the can. So I found one on Amazon. So I'll show you that when I get that in, but, um, I ordered, or I didn't order, I bought these as well, just to add to her collection because she's been out planting in our garden. So I got her these, and these are called Tigridia, and you get three bulbs. And then I picked up, these were a dollar each. All these, the bigger ones are a dollar each. Then I picked up the iris. So pretty. And look at how big these bulbs are, guys. These are like huge. They look like little... Like they're huge. So anyway, got those. So these will all go in her Easter basket. Um, then I picked up the freesia. So the pretty color, that's a pretty plant. Um, and there's the bulbs again right there. And then I picked up, oops, this was at the register. So I grabbed these, you guys. I mean, need I say more? Like, seriously, how cute. Like, so cute. I was tempted to just buy them all because these are oh, so cute. I've seen other Dollar Tree haulers haul these, and we didn't have them. And then when I was checking out the register, they were hanging on the chip clip right at the register. I was like, oh, yes, get in my cart. So um, this one, so they're cat nail files. So these will go in um, my kids, my older girls, um, probably my oldest girls, Easter basket, and I'll keep one. But you guys, like seriously, how cute, right? Like I can't even, it's so cute. So cute. And even the packaging is so cute. And this one is like, um, like a, so cute. So I got that. 
And, um, you know, wearing those masks, like shopping, they're, like I mentioned in my Winco haul, they're hard to breathe in. There was times when I'm like, I'm starting to feel a little lightheaded, like in the, in these masks, you know, I'm like feeling a little, like starting to feel a little lightheaded. And so uh, that's another reason why I was quickly in and out of the store because I'm like, I'm having a hard time breathing. I mean, I kept it on the whole time, but I'm like, this thing is heavy duty. It's like, Ooh, you know, um, then, um, I bought this. So I have been meaning to buy a mirror. Um, I already have my mirror. But this is the one I got at Daiso, and I feel like this is not really me anymore. Like, <laughs> so I have this mirror, right? I think it's really cute, but I feel like you guys know I love my vintage, my vintage, um, what's, what's the word? My vintage, um, all things vintage are Victorian looking. So I bought this one, and it comes in, look at the detail on this. Isn't that beautiful? It comes in white, black blue, like a very pretty blue, the color of, um, this pretty much a little bit lighter and this color. I chose the green. I thought it was really beautiful. I just want to show you the lace, like the, the lace around the edges, the scalloped. It's just so pretty, right? So I have graduated up from this one to this one. <laughs> so anyway, so when I do my makeup tutorials, I'll have this one instead. Um, yeah, I, I was torn between the all the colors are also beautiful, but I picked the green for now. Kind of gives me that like 60 vibe. 60s vibe, I really, I really like it. So yeah, I picked up this one. Okay. Then I picked up these to put in the Easter baskets. These are cotton candy peeps. So, sorry, this one is party cake peeps. You get five in there. And then this is the cotton candy one. So picked up those. Yeah, I only picked up two, so for now, yeah, I picked up two. Then I picked up some more of the flowers for 25 cents, and another one for 25 cents, and then I picked up some, um, we're almost done, you guys, um, flowers, 25 cents. These were all by the register, too, so I just was, like, throwing them in my cart. And then um, I picked up, I needed to get some more Easter cards um, so I picked up, I love this one. It says, I couldn't let the day, this day roll by. And he's like rolling an Easter egg down the hill. I think that is so cute. Um, and it says, without a great big Easter high. So I picked up a couple of these. So I picked up one, I picked up duplicates and it actually has like a sparkle. You see the little egg sparkles? So sweet. So, because I'm going to send to family because we can't get together this year for Easter, it looks like. Um, and then this one is really sweet. The Happy Easter reminds me of something from like the 70s, like the print. And then I picked up this one for um, for a friend. So I can't show her. I can't show because she watches this video and I don't want her to see it. It's a surprise. So I can't show that one, but she's going to really laugh. It's a funny one. So they have some cute cards there at DT, guys. Sorry, I would totally show you, but she watches... She watches this, so I can't, I can't show it, so, um, because she'll see it, and it won't be a surprise, I'm sorry, but, um, yeah, all right, and then the last couple things I got were, again, these, everything was right, like, <laughs> right by the register with the plants, so I grabbed these two trellises, I guess they're called, yeah, trellis, uh, this comes in black and green, I picked the green up, but they're both equally, you know, pretty, so I picked up these, so my daughter can use them to use for, um, maybe if she wants to, I don't know you know, grow the irises up on these, or I don't know how these really work. I'm not, I don't have a green thumb. So, but I know that you can kind of train flowers to grow up on these things. So I just picked up two so she can have two of those for now. And, um, thought that's a good deal. And then the last couple things are here is I did pick up one more paper towels. And so I'm glad because like I'm like, out of paper towels guys like out and then I got my roll of TP and then my other roll is right over here um, it's over there it just fell over there sorry guys I can't reach it but I got two rolls of TP it was limit two per customer this is a really good deal because like I said uh, I can't find toilet paper anywhere in Elk Grove anywhere anywhere like anywhere <laughs> so I'm like I was really happy and like I said they only had not many left, not much left of the toilet paper at Dollar Tree. So, um, and then I picked up these grow kits for my kids. Just so it's something fun to do. 
This one comes like a two for one. It got it has a starfish and like a um, stingray. You guys, I've actually pet. Um, sorry, my nose is like okay. I actually pet, pet got to pet a stingray um, at the San Francisco Aquarium. They feel so cool. They he actually like, came up and was like being really friendly with me. Like he was a little baby one, and he like because they had like a little pond or not a pond, but like a little area where you can pet them. And um, there's certain areas, obviously, you can't touch them on, like the stingrays. But um, it came up to me, and it actually was like trying to climb up. I have it on video. I need to find it. It was actually like, trying to climb up the little rocks to say hi to me. It was so cute. And like I petted it, pet him. I don't know how to say it. Pet him, and he felt like rubber. Like they feel like rubber, and they're just so cute. Literally, you guys, he was like using his little like little like wings or whatever these are and he's like trying to climb up the rock to see me it was so cute to like come out of the pool almost to see me so cute so I love I love stingrays and then um I got this big old um is this a triceratops I think it is, is that triceratops which is my favorite dinosaur why because it has the word Sarah in it <laughs> so I think this is a triceratops I could be wrong though I think it is. Yeah, because it's got the cute little, um, I can't see, sorry. It has the cute little, um, like baby little, um, little thing around its head. It's so cute. So cute. And then I picked up the, golly, I should know all the names of these dinosaurs. And this is the last, it was another two for one. And then I picked up some Fabuloso. Um, so I grabbed that to clean my floors. Um, so I've never used Fabuloso before, guys. So let me know what you think of it. I've never ever used it. But I was like, I need to, you know, buy it, try it, see if I like it. So it's lemon scent, I assume. Yeah, refresh, refreshing lemon. So this will be my floor cleaner. I don't know if I want to use the, the off-brand of Pine Sol that Dollar Tree. I bought at Dollar Tree. Reason being is it has floaters in it. And I don't know, does, does your guys' have floaters in it? Because I don't know what that is. Because like I said, I bought the pine whatever it was called it's off brand at dollar tree i bought this a few weeks ago and i have not used it yet guys because it's got floaters in it and i'm like what is that let me know if your off brand pine salt from dt has floaters in it please because i don't want to use it if it if i'm the only one like that so yeah and then so i will use this for my floor in the meanwhile you know and then the last thing i bought was just a thing of soap so this one's new this one or not new but i've never tried this one this is meyer lemon and um, I'll go ahead and smell it, see what I think of it. Oh, yeah, it smells very good. It smells like lemon. So, yeah. And it looks nice. It has a nice presentation to it. So I'll go ahead and go closer so you can see. But, yeah, guys, so that is it for my DT haul. Everything I got. Um, oh, my goodness, it's been 22 minutes. I'm still on this video. Um, Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, Dollar Tree rocks for the supplies that I needed and um yeah so um but yeah with that being said I hope you enjoyed this haul and um uh yeah so stay tuned I have a lot of fun hauls coming up you guys a lot of fun call uh, fun calls a uh, fun hauls coming up and um I hope you have a wonderful Friday um this video will probably be up around midnight Friday morning which will be tomorrow morning um so uh yeah I just um, hope you're all doing well. And my new subscribers, thank you so much for being here. My returning family, thank you so much for being here. You guys are so amazing. Um, I just I really appreciate your guys' love and support. So, yeah. So I will see you all tomorrow, okay, with my next haul. So till next time, everybody, take care. Stay well. God bless you all. And I'll see you soon. Sydney hugs. I'll see you soon. Bye.